All right, guys. So Amanda Nunes has finally come out and started doing interviews about this UFC 232 fight. She had to do something. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I knew that Amanda Nunes had to do something because UFC 228, when I say, okay, UFC 228 was a, it was a great card for everybody who was on the card. And for people who were not on the card, for instance, Joanna Young Jacek, it ended up being pretty damn good for Joanna Young Jacek. But on the other side of that coin was Amanda Nunes. It ended up being a shit card for Amanda Nunes because... Yeah, okay, her coach is Dean Thomas, and she fights out of ATT, and, you know, she could kind of ride off of that, but that really didn't help her. The only thing people were thinking was, Nico ducked Valentina just like Amanda ducked Valentina. That was the narrative. That was the exact narrative. And and then she also came out and said, she called Valentina, I believe she said that Valentina was... um. I don't know, a complainer or something like that. Something along the lines of like a complainaholic or something like that. So she had to come out and do something. Anyway, so she came out and she's done this interview about the fight coming up. We all know this is a big fight. We all know that this is a very, very big fight. And everybody's getting pretty excited about it. Chris Cyborg is is really, I think she's really, I think that Chris Cyborg has really forged a great path against all odds. Against all odds, because it's like everybody tried to tear this woman down and, you know, ridicule her. And I don't just really make her seem like she was worthless or something like that. Like, just not the type of person who deserved respect. But in my opinion, you know, and not even in my opinion, this shit is fact. Chris Cyborg is one of the most respectable opponents in the UFC. Most respectable opponents in the UFC, you know... Chris Cyborg is finally getting some of these fights. You know, whether we like Amanda Nunes or not, whether we like Chris Cyborg or not, this is a big fight for Cyborg and it's a big fight for Amanda Nunes. They're taking women's MMA to a new level. They really are. Both of these ladies really are. Um, I know Amanda Nunes is taking this shit reluctantly. I know she is reluctantly taking women's MMA to the next level, but still she's doing it and still I'll give her the respect for that. But now let's move on. Now we got to get critical. We've got to get critical because we're not talking about bacon cakes, man. We're talking about throwing leather, heavy leather. Amanda Nunes, let me tell you something. You need to tighten your game up. The only thing that rang out like a bell was that she's at 165 pounds. Amanda is doing some of the same things that she was doing before other fights. Now, I know that she's had success. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But still, Amanda should be looking up. I wish that this was a video interview. It it was a it was basically an article. So you have to read the article and it was MMA fighting. So they just typed it up and you had to read it. But. Amanda Nunes needs to tighten up. I know she's only 20 pounds over right now. 20 pounds isn't bad this far out. It actually isn't bad if she cut, if she, I'm sorry, if she doesn't not cut, but if she loses another maybe seven pounds, seven or eight pounds, let's see, 12, that'll be 12, maybe not eight, maybe six. Okay, actually, you know what? She's not in bad shape. She's not in bad shape. She's 15% over right now. She's got she's got to lose 15 percent right now. But, you know, if she loses and cuts down, loses a, uh, six pounds and gets down to 10 percent over, if she can walk into fight week 10 percent over or even 8 percent over, then that's good. I think that that's kind of like easy weight to cut. Well, I'm not going to say easy. It'll be hard, but still she can do that. So, you know what? I lay off on the I lay off on the weight. But still, Amanda, I hope she's taking this thing seriously. I really do because we want to see a brawl. We want to see an actual fight. I want to see Chris Cyborg finish Amanda Nunes in the second or third round. That's what I mean by I want to see a fight. I don't want to see her just get bludgeoned in the first round. And then you're like, Dag, the best fighter in Bantamweight can't even can't even stand 30 seconds with um Chris Cyborg. What has the UFC been doing? What have they been cultivating? The Bantamweight division is their oldest division. We're all going to be wondering, what the hell were you cultivating? 
What were you doing over there? You know, so I hope that Amanda knows what's at stake. A lot is at stake. She said that she'll be the GOAT if she beats Chris Cyborg. She will. She will be the GOAT if she beats Chris Cyborg. But the other side of the coin, if she loses to Chris Cyborg in the first round, in the first minute, she will be the ass. She will absolutely be the ass. So, you know, which way you want to go? Which way do you want to go? Seriously. It's, uh, Amanda Nunes needs to seriously focus. She needs to go into the woodshed and work. She really does. She's saying things out here like, you know, she's keeping it real. She's saying, look, Chris Cyborg can say I'm not the toughest competitor all that she wants. The thing is, the fight is booked. The fight is booked. You don't have to worry about me being the toughest or, or not. The fight is already booked. So just be ready for that. You know, sometimes I wish that they would do interviews with Amanda Nunes in her native language in Portuguese because the English just does not resonate well. I hate to say it, but the English doesn't resonate well. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to learn another language. And then you try to like be very, very respectful. They're like, oh, but the respectful way to say this is that. Oh, and then, like everyone's always trying to teach you the respectful way to say something. And you're like, I don't want to know the respectful way. How the how would I say it? So if Amanda, because Amanda Nunes gets, she seems a little bit more alive, a little bit more lively when she speaks Portuguese. So, <clears throat> you know, I appreciate that she's trying to be respectful, but sometimes it just the shit falls flat. It falls incredibly f flat, especially when you look at Amanda Nunes and you're like, this girl gets very upset when anybody starts to question her legacy or her greatness. She really does get upset, you know, so that's my thoughts on it. You know, Amanda Nunes is coming out of the, sh she's coming out of the dark, you know, she's coming out of the shadows because apparently she was so injured. She was so injured. Her foot was so injured. I I still, you know, with the injury thing, I'm still like, that whole issue right there is still perplexing. I still don't get that. It's like, I have a feeling that after every single fight, Amanda Nunes is going to be like, oh, I just had a really good fight. I'm going to need a year off. I'm going to take a break. I just don't get this girl. It's like, at least fight. Just fight. You know, at least fight. I was going to say how many times a year, but it's like, just, just fight. Give me two times a year. Give me twice next year. Then, you know, maybe we can start saying three, four, but once a year. That's Amanda Nunes. Amanda, the lioness, the one-time fighter, Nunes. Man, that, Amanda better get out of here with all of that. I don't want to hear about any injuries. I don't want to hear it. She's talking about, oh, yeah, I didn't get the, the, I did not get the surgery I just ended up being on medication. So the same medication they could have gave you the night before um, the Valentina fight, that same medication, that's what you're on now, that same medication that you could have got then, that girl, man, Amanda, come on, Amanda. Come on, man. I hope you bring this fight because people are starting to doubt you big time. Big time. Nico did you zero favors. Nico did you no favors at all man she put her nico put herself on blast but she put amanda nunez back in the hot seat because nico's out of town man nico's out of dodge she's back at albuquerque she's back in the desert chilling you're the one with the fight up next we don't want to hear about your injuries we don't want to even hear if you're doing okay if they're okay if they're not okay we don't want to hear none of that talk about your training regimen i want to hear you talk about your training regimen I want to hear you talk about how focused you are. I want to hear you say, talk about Dean Thomas. You know, we realize Dean Thomas, that guy's a little coaching genius. He really is a little coaching genius. I mean, just there's a, there's a way that he has with his fighters. And maybe he has that way with Amanda. I hope that he has that way with Amanda because she did mention that Dean told her, you know, she never wanted to fight Chris Cyborg. We all know Amanda didn't want to fight Chris Cyborg, but Dean told her, he said, it's time. It's time for you to, I'm not, this isn't word for word because I don't have the article up, but basically he said, look, it's time. If you want to be the best, you're going to have to beat the best. This is on your table right now. It's time to eat. It, we about to eat. We're about to eat. And she was like, well, I don't know. I need to think about it. And one day he said it. He said it in an in interview or something like that. And she, and she was like, you know what? 
he's right. I'm going to roll with it. Now, we all know that Nina Ansarov started popping off at the mouth and then Chris Cyborg was like, okay, wait, 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 wait. You get no more passes then. You know, I was giving you a pass, but the thing is, your girl, she's, she's put you in the fire. She's put you in the fire and I was trying to give you a pass, but now, now it's time for me to eat. That's what Chris Cyborg said. Now it's time for me to eat. So the, the fight got made, but Dean Thomas was one of the first people. It sounded like she said Dean Thomas was one of the first people who encouraged her to really, to really go for the fight and, and step up and say that she wants the fight. So that could be the truth or that could just be Amanda Nunes just trying to attach her name to Dean Thomas right now because Dean Thomas is, is on. Dean Thomas is, he, he's living his best life right now. Right? Dean Thomas is literally living his best life right now. So maybe she's just trying to attach her name to that bandwagon. But I'm not mad at it. She's been with Dean Thomas for a while. She's been with ATT for a while. So she can bandwagon all she wants. She She's earned it. All I can say is I hope Amanda Nunes is ready for this. And I hope that they do a serious press conference. I hope they go to... You know it would be nice if they went to Brazil to promote this fight. That would be... so. If they did a promo tour for this fight... Oh, they did like the press conference, one in Brazil, one in um, U.S., and one in like maybe Canada or something like that. Maybe only two press conferences, maybe just Brazil and then the U.S. That would be amazing. That would be really good. I hope that they really, really push this fight and understand that they have a big fight on their hand. When I say they, I mean the UFC. I hope that the UFC pushes this fight and understands that they have a really big fight on their hands with um, Chris Cyborg and Amanda Nunes. Anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts in the comments section. Also, I just want to let everybody know that I finally opened up a couple of social media accounts. Yeah, man, we're trying to do it on different levels right now. I opened up the Facebook account. I hope it opened up the Twitter account. Check it out in the description for this video right here. Anyways, guys, I want to thank the whole Channel MMA team. From the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the comments, whether they're on my side or the wrong side. Anyways, guys, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.